Hi, I'm Brady Riggs, and I'm going to help you create some more power in your golf swing. One thing we see all the time is that people mistake the swing for a backswing and then a downswing. What we want to teach you to do is blur the two a little. We want to see the club head moving back and your body moving forward at the same time. When you do a backswing and then a downswing, usually we see players start down with their hands in the club, which loses the angle between the left arm and club shaft. Instead, what we'd like to see is your body start back down towards the target before the club head is finished moving to the top of the swing. This will create a lot of lag in your swing. Another way to think of it is like cracking a whip or snapping a towel at the top of the swing. A good checkpoint to look at when using the foreview is the position halfway back when the left arm is parallel to the ground and the angle the club shaft is on there versus the same height on the downswing when the left arm is parallel to the ground and the club shaft angled much more so than it was going up. With most people that lose speed coming down, we'll actually see that angle is wider on the downswing than it was on the backswing. Instead, when you sequence properly, the arms of the club are going back, the body starts down first, this creates a drag in the club head and increases the angle between the left arm and club shaft. The body then will take the arms in the club all the way into impact and through impact, creating a very powerful release of the club. A drill you can do to work on your sequencing and create more lag is to take your setup position, go back to the halfway back position where your left arm is parallel to the ground, and move your arms slightly back while your body is starting down. When you do that, you'll feel the club head drag at the top it'll create a lot more snap into the ball. 